Okay, we all know Samsung just released One UI 6 first beta in countries like US, South Korea and Germany. But it's still not available in countries like India. But with the recent announcement, One UI 6.0 will be coming very soon in India too, along with countries like China. But I wanted to try out One UI 6 as soon as possible, so I've managed to install it on my Samsung S23 Ultra. And this method doesn't void your warranty or doesn't even trigger the Nox count. If you guys wish to install, you can follow the video guide. But personally, I won't be responsible if anything goes wrong with your device. Also, you don't have to much worry about because we are not unlocking the bootloader, we are just flashing in different firmware and then later flashing the One UI Beta 6. And don't worry guys, I'll also do a downgrade video in which we'll show you how to downgrade from One UI 6 to stable One UI 5.1. So video is divided into two parts. One is downgrade process. I'll tell you why we are downgrading. And the second one is flashing One UI 6 Beta 1. So if you guys are running July update on your device, some people have already updated to August. But on my unit, I was still running July update. And if I show you the build number, it was AWF9. We cannot install it on AWF9. We need to have the version AWF7. That's the reason I downgraded to that particular version so that I can easily sideload One UI 6.0. All the files which are required are in the description below. So watch the video properly, avoid missing out any step and download the correct files. And now before starting the process, if you guys like a content, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. You will see a lot of new videos on One UI 6 for Samsung smartphones. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see this is my Samsung S23 Ultra which is running on One UI 5.1. And if you see the build number, it is AWF9. But I need the build number as AWF7 to install the One UI 6.0. On your PC, you will be requiring few files. One is this AWF7 firmware which I downloaded from this website which is samfw.com and I have selected United Arab and CSE code for that is XCG. First you need to download this file. So here first we'll be downgrading a device then we'll be flashing the One UI 6 Beta 1. For One UI 6 Beta 1 this is the file which is of approximate 3 GB and you also need latest platform tools. All the links can be found in the description below. So now what you have to do is you need to also have Odin to downgrade your device so here you can see i have the odin what i'll do is i'll open odin first and launch this program now we have to add all the files here and this won't even wipe your data i'll tell you how to do that but for now let me boot my s23 ultra to that particular mode where we'll be able to use the where we'll be able to flash the files so to do that what you have to do is first power off your device and remove the cable in advance once your device is powered off you need to press and hold both the volume keys which is up and down so hold them and insert the cable now you'll see a warning message. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see because the brightness is too low here in this particular mode. But it says press volume key to continue. So I'll press the volume up key. And now we are in the download mode. Now what you have to do is you need to go to your PC again. First make sure you have extracted the file which is this firmware AWF7. Later open Odin tap on BL and you have to select the files manually. So from the extracted file, you have to select all the files one by one. So first one says BL. So I'll select this file, which consists of BL at the starting. Once done, then AP, I'll select the AP file. Then next one, which says CP, select this one. And for the CSC, you make sure to select home CSC instead of CSC. If you select the first one, which consists of CSC at start, that will wipe entire data. So make sure to select home CSC. Once you have selected all the four files, tap on start. So once you see this pass message, your device will start to reboot. So you can see device have been booted up. If I go to about section, and the data is also not wiped. Under software version, you can see it says, let me reduce the brightness. Under software version, now you can see it says AWF7. So now what I'll do is, and if your device doesn't boot up initially, soon you downgrade your device, then at that time, when your device vibrates for the reboot, you have to hold volume up and power key. That way it will go into the recovery mode. But our device booted up successfully, I'll boot it in the recovery mode by using ADB command. For that, what you have to do first, go to settings, make sure you have enabled developer option that can be done by going to about section, 
सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन टैप ऑन द बिल्ड नंबर सेवन टाइम्स अंटिल यू सी यूर ए डेवलपर नाउ वंस दिस इज डन यूल सी डेवलपर ऑप्शन टूअर्स द बॉटम साइड एंड फ्रॉम हियर यू नीड टू एनेबल यू एस बी डी बगे सो वंस यू आर सेट विद ऑल दीज थिंग्स नाउ यू हैव टू ओपन अप द प्लेटफॉर्म टूल फोल्डर एंड मेक श्योर यू हैव प्लेस वन यू आई बीटा सिक्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलर फोल्डर Now open up command prompt by typing cmd in the address bar. First cross check whether drivers are installed on your device or not. Now I'll give the command adb devices. So if there are no issues with the drivers, it should show me the serial number. As you can see here, we have the serial number. Now what I'll do is I'll boot the device into recovery mode. For that command is adb reboot recovery. and hit enter you might if you are doing for the first time you might see a pop up on your device just allow the permissions and your device should boot into recovery so here you can see we are into recovery now use the volume key to select the option which says apply update via adb to make selection use the power key now we have to side load the one ui beta 6 file so for that what you can do is give the command adb side load drag and drop the file which is of one ui beta 6 and hit enter now wait for the process to complete and once it's completed i'll get back to you guys so the process is completed now and our device have started to boot up let's see if it boots to one ui 6 or not so device have successfully booted up and i guess we are into one ui 6.0 there we go you can see the pop up you have upgraded to one ui 6 tapping on next you get to choose the display modes right now i'll keep it default then you'll see this pop up which says due to beta software unexpected errors may occur so i'll just ignore it and let me show you the about section here you can see device is s23 ultra under software information it says one ui version is 6.0 and android version is android 40 So guys this way you can install one UI 6.0 on your Samsung S23 Ultra. If you guys still have any kind of questions you can join our Telegram group. I can answer all your questions over there. So as of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys going to like the video. If you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.